College football is back and with it, your Missouri Valley football extra point for week one. I'm Kelly Burke, and although we haven't played a down yet, Valley football has been garnering all kinds of attention this preseason. After a record four FBS wins a season ago, including North Dakota State's upset of then 13th ranked Iowa on a last second field goal, all eyes are on week one games with three FBS opponents. Two of them in-state matchups. Northern Iowa will try and make it back-to-back -back wins against Iowa State this Saturday for their fourth win against the Cyclones this decade. And Missouri State will meet Mizzou for the first time since 1923. A homecoming for longtime Tigers assistant and defensive coordinator turned Bears head coach Dave Steckel. Last year's national runner-up Youngstown State will also try and spoil Pitt's opener. Now keep in mind the Penguins knocked off the Panthers back in 2012. With six MVFC teams ranked in the stats top 25, the Valley is leading the way nationally. The league has 17 players recognized on the stats preseason All-America team, also tops in the nation. Led by Walter Payton watch list and South Dakota State standouts Jake Winicky, Dallas Goddard, and Taryn Christian. The Missouri Valley also placed five on the Stats Buck Buchanan Award watch list given to the nation's best defensive player. Thursday will mark the debut of a new era in Terre Haute. As new head coach Kurt Mallory, his staff, and 11 returning starters kick off week one against Eastern Illinois. With a revamped pro-style offense that emphasizes the run game and a switch to a 4-3 defensive front, Sycamore fans will get their first glimpse of what the future holds. ISU will try and snap a five-game losing skid to the Panthers and play under their newly upgraded lights at Memorial Stadium. And nine of ten Valley teams are in action in week one, and five of those games are available on ESPN3. Of course, to stay up to date with all your latest Valley scores and news, log on anytime to www.valleyfootball.org.